my name is David Schmidt. I'm one of the editors at Sail Magazine, and we're here at the 2013 Annapolis Boat Show under some rather blustery and uh, wet conditions today, but we're doing our best to still give you guys these great videos. Um, we're here right now with the brand new Catalina 275 Sport, uh, new design by Jerry Douglas, and I think we'll step below and have a, have a talk about the boat under a little drier conditions. Alrighty, and here we are below deck on the Catalina 275 Sport. Uh, this boat is really quite interesting below. Um, first off, I'll just point out the fact that you have this sort of semi-lucent, semi-transparent headliner here, which really does a nice job of sort of diffusing light throughout the whole cabin. Um, solid wood appointments throughout, uh, which is a very nice thing. You, obviously, you have this um, compression strut right here, which essentially supports the rig, which is directly above. Uh, this table telescopes down and drops in, and there's actually standard on this boat, there's a cushion that pops right here, so you have a uh, full seven-foot accommodation in the four-peak. Um, you have a simple head right here, nice simple clean galley right here with, this is a nice feature, slide-out cooler operation, and keep your your food and beverages nice and chilled. And this quarter berth back here, it has, uh, I believe, accommodation for a seven foot uh, mattress, but the berth itself extends all the way back, I believe, a full 10 feet. So if you wanted to put a stand up paddle board or a surfboard or something below deck, you can easily accommodate that as well. Above deck, this boat's got some really interesting features as well. It's got a very big, very comfortable cockpit uh, scooped out in the back. So if there's any water it comes over the deck, it just cleans right out. The boat has comes in two versions. Uh, there's a sport version and a standard version, this being the sport. Um, also, as I understand it, the major difference between the two is that the sport version has a 24 to 1 backstay mechanism. So you can really crank the rig back. There is an above deck uh, sprit pole on this boat. So you can fly different, uh, different downwind sails. There's a jib track on the boat, so self-tacking jib makes, uh, makes upwind work quite simple as well. All right, so in conclusion, I think that this would be a really wonderful boat uh, for a lot of different demographics. I think that it could be great for somebody who's coming from a 50-footer and is looking to downsize into something a little smaller, but quite performance-minded. And it would also be a wonderful boat for someone who's just getting into keelboat sailing and is interested in something with some nice performance pep to it. Uh, the boat just seems extremely comfortable, um, and I have no doubt it sails well as well. Thank you.